So you want to automate your shape key with the driver. Not a problem. Let's say you're working on the hips because usually what happens when you weight paint this area is it'll look good bending forward and it'll look good bending backwards. But as soon as you do the splits, that's when things start to fall apart. So this is an excellent place to make a shape key. So just go to the neutral pose, make a new base key, pose the character in the problem position, and then name the shape key after whatever it represents. And we'll set the shape key to one, and then go to sculpt mode and start fixing the shape however you see fit. Now I'm not making this perfect because it's a tutorial. So really all I'm gonna do is try and keep that beautiful volume where it's supposed to be kind of like this whatever and after we have our shape key done you can now see the difference it makes when you turn it off and on now we want the key to be triggered automatically when the thigh bone rotates this way first we got to do is figure out what is the rotation axis the thigh is moving on so it looks like it's the x-axis and then we got to find our maximum rotation it looks like full extension is about 0.7 so what we need is a math equation that sets the shape key to 1 when x is 0.7 and don't worry, I've done the math for you. So to add the driver, just right click the shape key, add driver, set the target to armature, then the thigh bone, the type should be X rotation because that's our trigger, set mode to quaternion and local space, and then type this equation. Now, depending on your character, you might need to flip the negative or change the numbers, but this is my default exponential math equation. And the reason we want it to be exponential is because we want the shape key to start out slow, but as we get closer to to maximum extension, the shape key will kick in all the way at the end. And now you can see as the thigh rotates, the shape key automatically does its thing. You're done.